we don't normally need the buyer for these pieces, but I'm going to show you. There's four large heavy pieces like this, and they thought this was going to be the most money, is what they were told. And when I looked it up, all of them were marked stamped 18K, which is for 18 karat gold. <clears throat> so I need a gold person to check this, I mean it does gold, especially if this was. That's quite a chain, it's thick. It's marked too. But the odd part was everyone was marked the same stamp. 18K, same thickness, same everything, which is kind of odd. And it was dented on the back. You can see that on every piece that had the 18K, which makes you think somebody did that. So I'll be waiting for the person that checks the gold to check these pieces and weigh it. And then we know what we have. As for all these, they're mostly costume. It's glass and brass buttons. It's a sterling ring, Miss of the Stone. It's an interesting piece. Looks like it should be jade and stone, but it's actually plastics. And it's brad, brass, or deco. There's some watches before I tried to wind in with no luck. They're old, neat. There's some metal, so I'd have to take magnifiers to a lot of the pieces to see if there's names. Most of them are unnamed. They're just costume jewelry. That's probably sterling. A lot of times these pieces are sterling. Have to check their mark. It's a cute little piece. It must be a child's little rattle. It's all brass or it's a cupie. Cupie doll. That looks like an odd piece right there. It's a cupie brass doll. Rattle. I think that's a pretty good piece. I collect dolls and I know cupie dolls, anything just seem to be worth more. This one's pretty cute. It's old, it's a bit dented. It's got a pendant, could have been a necklace. Neat. There's old rhinestones. I believe those are shoe buttons. There's some purple ones. This is all glass. Glass black beads. It's pretty nice. It's an old piece. I believe it is black stone in there. An old brooch. Again with the black stones. Probably sterling. It's an old piece. Not sure what that is. It's hard to tell in the plastics. There's a brass piece. It's got an anchor on it, a shovel, a key, maybe fish, and a lion, a cross. This piece is nice. It's, it's stones and brass bracelet. antique and vintage. So these are the walk-ins that we have, people coming in. They didn't set a price, so we have to set the price. We have to look into it more thoroughly. If they set a price, we can either say yeah or no. We have to check this to see if it's gold. It appears to be gold, this one, compared to the other one. There's an old tin, AK special something mailings. Wellington, Toronto. It's a nice old tin. Walton Watch Company. That's pretty neat, actually. Manufactured. Hmm.
And there's a piece, probably sterling water. And there's a few other odds and ends, but I think we went through most of it. So, we'll be checking these with our gold tester. I know tomorrow more of what it is. Seems like maybe somebody's trying to take somebody and get 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold. But we'll see tomorrow. Thank you.